Hey guys, uh, how's it going? I'm Matt Letty, and uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about stash tabs. So stash tabs are, you know, the bank in Path of Exile. You have one in your hideout. So your stash has a bunch of different stuff. This is the tabs you're going to have if you don't have any special tabs. We're going to go over all the tabs, what they do in a second. It'll just, uh, it's just a, a blank tab. You put shit in and out of the tab as you'd like. They are a 12 by 12 grid, meaning they have 144 slots. If you do control plus left click, you could bring things into the tab in that fashion. Uh, so if I have a, multiple things, you just control left click them, come in and out of the tab. Alternatively, if you're in a guild and you have a bunch of shit in your tab, because guilds are, tabs are like, I guess, server side or I don't know how they're, they're like they're stored in the cloud because multiple people can access them. You can't, uh, you can't control left click things as much as you'd like. It's kind of shitty. Uh, alternatively, um, you know, if you have a tab, you could rearrange the order of the tabs by dragging them. Um, if you have a guild tab, uh, you can't do that because it's shit. Um, also, if I have something in a tab, like this is in here, and I have this, I could just left click and it replaces it. So, you know, you just, uh, you can swap things around. As long as it's touching the item, you will be able to replace it in its position. If you're in a guild tab, um, I cannot do that. So, also, if two players are trying to click the same item out at the same time, you can't. If two players are even trying to pull this, an item out of the stash tab, you can't. So, if two people are both trying to click something in this tab at the same time, uh, whoever clicks first will be able to take an action. They added multiple different stash tabs, uh, probably under the account setting. Your normal stash tab can be upgraded to a premium stash tab. Uh, so 30 coins, I guess, you know, you could say it's like uh, 10 points is $1. I haven't purchased points in forever, so that's $3. That's $1.50. That's $4 etc 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 what this means is you get to upgrade a stash tab to a premium stash tab so this is a premium stash tab okay and what it allows you to do is you can right click the top compared to you can't do the normal thing you just try it doesn't work and you could rename it and you can recolor it any way you want you could click this thing called public and what this does is this hooks it up to like poe trade and the path forums and it gives you a couple options so you can each item individually priced and what that means is that's kind of how I have uh, this tab set up so if you hover over an item it'll tell you the, uh, beneath it the asking price because so I right-clicked it and I have it to you know each item priced individually price you can put a note you can put a price exact price I'm not sure what the difference between price and exact price is but I'm pretty sure price means uh, you know if I had if I put it for one exalted it'll also show in PV trade for like 120 C or whatever the equivalent is based off of PV trade. But if I put exact price, it means I only want exalted. Now I could also change what I want for them and how I want it. At the moment, there's no way to get stuff like um, map fragments. Like, you know, this this is the currency list. And it also, I don't see reliquary keys in here despite reliquary keys being currency. Also, you have uh, stuff like sextants or currency was not in the list. Then you have another option and the other option um, at the top is you can right click and you can click exact price on all items. Um, the same thing like we discussed with price on all items are essentially in the similar field. I'm pretty sure it just means that uh, it'll give you only exalted listings and it won't give you like equivalent value. So, you know, if I have this list for 1x or whatever or 40c, it won't show the uh, ratios. It'll just show I only want x. And that's the other option. And when you do that, it renames the... Uh, the whole thing. So if I do this and I type in a uh, fucking jewels and I want to rename it, I can't. It's uh, you know, when you do exact price, it it's just um, whatever that pricing is, uh, that's what'll name the tab, which is a little bit annoying. So that's premium tabs. These are what's used for trading. Uh, most people uh, trade like this. A lot of people um, do what I do, um, which is they just you have, to have a bunch of tabs, and you could check to see the front sale um, on the home page when you log in. It says what the daily deal of the day is whatever and stash tabs normally run in concurrently so they'll have like one tab for sale and the next to the next tab for sale and vice versa i suggest um you know having like 10 10 tabs is is probably more than enough for the average player but it's probably the only thing that's uh you know they say path of exile is free to play but that's the only aspect of path that i would suggest uh <laughs> makes a little bit pay to win maybe uh, this is the newest of the tabs called the quad tab it's really the most simplest of all the new ones it's four tabs in one quad being four <laughs> tabs as being a tab it's the exact same thing as a premium tab same function same everything it's just uh it's just bigger the one gripe i have with this tab is um you can't 
zoom in like some other tabs um, just a quick peek at the card tab you could actually zoom in uh, so you know you could see the uh, different sizes of things it's, it's a little annoying because some things are kind of things so like when you're trying to exactly play something it can be kind of tricky maybe also good to note so when you're selling something um until you like have this item leave your tab so you see how i i, I just picked this up and it retained the uh, 40x listing if i take this and then i just put it in my stash uh my like inventory it's gonna lose that listing i'm gonna have to reprice it but the second i take it from here and put it back under there uh, it no longer has the buyout and I have to reapply it. A little annoying. But it lets you so you could rearrange your shit within the tab. So we got probably the, the best tab, I think, of all the tabs by far is the currency tab. Um, you know, this just all, like it says, it gives you all your currency. Every currency you can imagine in the game at the moment. Splinters, you can't put here. Parandus coins, um, you can't put here. It just gives you five slots to do what you want at the bottom. I think splinter, splinters make the most sense since there's five splinters. Uh, you know, it just feels the best. So to keep them right there. But then you have shit like Prandus coins, and I have a ton of Prandus coins. I have no, they have no home. I have nowhere to put them. So I just uh, toss them in another tab on the side. It has silver coins. It has everything you really want. And it has in the middle a crafting thing. So a little crafting bench. So the one, the one downside in my opinion of what they refer to as the little crafting section here uh, is that so say I'm crafting this ring. Um, it's a little tricky to see the role names and the roles because it's translucent or opaque, you know? Uh, so I see the currency behind it. And in my opinion, it's a little tricky. Like, see where it says 2.4 life for dinner. It's kind of hard to read because there's a regal order behind it. Uh, that's why I like crafting on the bottom row of my tab because the background is black. So it's just easier to see. So I think currency tab is the best investment. They had a bundle when it first came out of all the uh, new tabs. And so we had those, the quad currency. And the next one is essence tab. As you can imagine, it holds your essences. It has a slot for uh, remnants of corruption and the four uh, cool ones even. And it has one, you know, max slots for everything and then it has three random slots here i don't really know what these are for i guess just overflow or something it's hard to say also the fuck is my bow harbinger somewhere oh no i just got the alzheimer's again harb could have sworn i had a six link card but there we go all right so what you could do is um so this has a similar crafting tab kind of like the uh you know this crafting tab here but um the same situation it's kind of hard to read stuff behind it but again you're probably only using essences on it so it's not as big of a deal but this way you could use you know if you're doing a lot of essence crafting you don't want to put it in your tree you could put it in the cool essence tab maybe it has additional essence rng um yeah it doesn't like do a whole lot aside from that except there's one cool feature that uh at least it rolled fizz, that we could do, and that is you have this button called upgrade. If you left click this, it highlights in yellow all the things that can be traded up, and if you just left click them, it just upgrades them, because you know, three of one lesser essence equals three of a better one, or one of a better one. Upgrade three to one. So you could just go down the line like this, and it and it kind of feels nice, and it looks nice, and it's all nice, and everything's nice. Um, in my opinion, I prefer to keep shriekings. I don't really up, like upgrading shriekings to deafenings. I just don't think it's worth it in almost every scenario. But yeah, you just uh, upgrade them and you can keep clicking. The one thing is um, uh, click an essence in the tab, upgrade them, press escape when done. If you don't click escape, um, you have a hard time uh, clicking like out of the tab kind of. Like if I wanted to move essences, I can't uh, until I click escape. So like I can spam click this shit. I can try to drag it and it won't let me because I didn't click escape yet. So it's a little frustrating. Or you can also, uh, if I click upgrade, I click upgrade again, it doesn't turn it off. You'd think it would like clicking a second time with your own, but it's just not how it works. And then the final tab is the card tab, which is also really cool, but most people just turn in their div cards when they have them. But when you're like me and you've been saving divination cards, well, to make a really sh shitty, you know, that's gonna cost around a thousand next video at this point, um, look for that in the future then you could uh, <laughs> put all your divination cards here. Or if you just like to look at them, you could zoom in and zoom out and uh, look at them as you'd like to enjoy the art of them. You have a couple options at the show menu. You can show all, and this shows every divination card, including the ones you're missing. Oh, look at that, I'm only missing one. And then you click full stacks. It shows you every full stack. These are all full stack cards. You click owned. It shows you all the ones that you own. Uh, it means you don't have to necessarily have a full stack of them. You could just own them. And then unowned, which shows the only cards you're missing. 
just happens to be one that's heavily price manipulated and fucking standard and you can't buy any copies of it unless they're like 10x uh, so that's the divination card tab and basically um you know utilizing different tabs in this game can be pretty good you can't you can actually set your uh card tab to public if you wanted to you could set your essence tab to public there are premium tabs in the same right uh, same with the currency tab you can set to public this will list your currencies on peewee trade and list your tabs and list your essences because they recently uh implemented the new on the currency market uh essences divination cards maps league stones they have this whole fucking drop down drop up menu look at this shit it's a fucking it's a kind of a mess actually it makes it so you could uh you know list things and find things a little easier so um you know basically Path of Exile making money is a big combination of utilizing your tabs and utilizing Pee Wee Trade in conjunction. You could pull some crazy shit off and get a head start, at least in leagues. So that about wraps up everything about tabs I can think of. Uh, if I had to suggest anything, um, you know, buying one currency, one essence, one card to have in one quad tab, uh, you should honestly be like good <laughs> in the game. If you have, if you just got that bundle, you should be okay. The one thing uh, myself and everyone else wishes is there was a way to turn four tabs into one quad tab. Uh, maybe in the future they'll implement that, but I'm not going to fucking hold my breath. They did say they're making an MTX upgrade, which I guess just counts the tab, although you can't list anything um, in the future. And if you ever want more MTX tabs, uh, email GGG or Grinding Gear Games support to say, hey, I want an extra tab, because sometimes you do uh, get your tabs cluttered, and they will give you an extra tab when you log off. So if you want an extra tab for your MTX tab, just shoot them an email and they'll help you out. They're, they're pretty not shit as far as companies go. Um, so yeah, I'm Matt Lighting. Any questions about stash tabs and uh, anything like that, let me know. I'll see you guys uh, later.